Hopefully my phone stays alive. Am I frozen? No, okay, I'm just a little delayed here. Thought I'd show you guys how I did this. Let's see if I can get it in frame here. Go that way. Hi, Julie. Hi, Pam. Wait, see if anybody else hops on here and I'll get started. I thought I'd show you how I did this card. Originally, my intention was, was to do a, um, do some stamping with this set here that uh, Nancy sent me and then but I thought you know what let's let's do some Tim Holtz up in here today and uh, so I'll be using this 3d embossing folder I don't have myself on live chat oh I guess I am on live chat and I just got this and I'm going to be using a piece of watercolor card stock. And I'm going to be using a lot of ink colors, so I'll just go through them with you as I go. And why don't we just go ahead and get started here? So I'm going to try. I'm going to try and replicate this background. You know, honestly, when you do this, sometimes it's hard to remember what colors you used. <laughs> And I probably should write it down somewhere, but that'd be too much like right. So I'm going to start here with just some ink smushing, okay? And guess what? Sorry about my air conditioner. I have it on low, but um, it's still noisy and it's so hot, y'all. It's like 95 temperature wise and then the heat index is like 110 so putting on a glove here because this does get messy and i am going to again i'm going to start with my ink smushing and i'm going to use the smooth side of the watercolor paper i'm just going to dampen it down and i want to start with we'll start with some and i'm using ink first some dusty concord and I'm going to go in with some cracked pistachio. Oh, you guys can't see. Okay, let me let me just move the camera a little bit so you can see what I'm doing here. Sorry if that's crooked. I want you to be able to see, though. And some salvage patina. And some picked raspberry to start. gonna let me zoom out oh I guess I can't oh this thing won't work with gloves on there we go <laughs> now you can see what I'm doing here and I'm just gonna wet this down and this is just my silicone mat and I'm gonna give it a smush just like that That's that. Simple as that. I'll be using my dryer a lot, so at least it's not noisy. And let me grab a let me grab a paper towel here so I can dab off the sides because those will get trimmed anyway. So you're gonna start out pretty light, actually. I just wanna dry that down. Get that excess water off of there. It doesn't take long, honestly. Okay. And then I'm just going to go back in and smush with the ink some more. Use up all this ink. Just get it any old way. It doesn't matter. I'll go ahead and wipe that down because I'll start going in with new colors. I do need to dry in between each time. Diane, 
everyone. Welcome. I sometimes think that doing a live is easier than doing the video and then doing a voiceover or whatever. All right, let me get that dryer out of my way here. Let's grab some peacock feathers. Okay, and I think I want some more of the salvage patina. And a little bit more of the dusty Concord, not much. Okay, I'm just gonna wet those down. I'm gonna kinda blob them up here. And, hey Nancy, happy to see ya. More of the same. Wet that down and dry it off. Hi Mary from Salem. Oregon is my home. Miss it like mad. Let's see here. Okay. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to just wet the Dickens out of this to move my colors around. And I'll grab up some more of these while I'm down there. Why not? Hey Nancy, look. I got gloves on. <laughs> Honestly, it's way too hot for gloves. I can't stand the feel of them on me. But that's okay. Okay, so I've got my base. Now I'm going to go in dark here. So I'm going to get out my splat box. And hopefully you guys will be able to see inside of it. It's just a Simon Says Stamps box. Let me move this stuff out of my way here. Because this doesn't like to stay open. And this is where the magic happens. Got a fresh paper towel. <laughs> I knew you were. <laughs> oh, you have a blanket fort. How cool. I love forts. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to start off by going in with my seedless preserves. Now, I had a seedless preserve ink they sent me. I bought it from Ranger, but the uh, lid was stuck, so um, they sent me a new one. And I'm just going to go in, and this, this changes everything. And this right here is what gets my fingers so inky. And I go ahead and now I'm going to use my quiet dryer. It takes longer, but it's quieter. Oh, that's a good idea, Pam. Okay, just give this a dry. And this, believe it or not, this spray stain dries pretty quickly. I'm done with the stains, then I'm going to go in with the oxides. That's good enough. Grab another paper towel, clean one. And I'm going to go in with some peacock feathers. And salvage patina. A lot of times it gets real resisty. 
if that's a word. cool about this is you never know what you're going to get. I mean, it's always going to be a surprise and sometimes it's a surprise you have to throw away <laughs> or use to cut something out from. Okay, we're done with sprays. Get this out of the way. It's still a little damp here, so I'm just going to continue to kind of dab at it. And then I'm going to dry it some more. And I'm going to start giving it the speckly bits. And I'm just pressing down a little bit on this. And then sometimes a lot. And dry. The purple one was seedless preserves. Uh, the other purple I used was dusty Concord. Yeah, Gloria, the um, the seedless preserve spray stain is really dark. But no worries. <laughs> Everything's going to change when I start throwing oxides on here. And I like to mostly dry it because I'm not really wanting to lift a lot of color. But once I start putting oxides on there, I want it to be fairly dry. straighten out my paper here a little bit and I'm coming in with salvage patina here I bought the new blue am I crazy about it not oops that's ink I don't want ink I want oxide I'm not it's okay it's fine I'm not mad but mm, you know I, I wouldn't it's not red where is my, there it is. Okay. Now I'm just gonna come in in certain spots and bring this salvage patina in. Cause it really rocks with the um, raspberry seedless preserves. And I'm just kind of random, nothing, nothing real super purposeful, because I'm gonna be getting it wet. Just random in here and there, and let's go with a little bit of. Well, let's leave that, get it wet, and see where we get. Hi, Cheryl. <gasps> Oops, wrong, wrong bottle. Better get those out of my way. <laughs> That's okay. Still comes out cool. And I'm gonna do the wettily bit again. Really move my colors around. See, once you hit it with those oxides, everything changes. Mmm. I love, my favorite is Smucker's Raspberry Preserves um, with no seeds. I stock it because they hardly ever have it at the grocery store. They have seedless blackberry, but I don't want blackberry. I want raspberry. Okay. Getting it with the dryer again. And you know what, y'all? I went and bought a new, um, a new uh, chip sapphire oxide because I couldn't find mine. 
and then I found mine yesterday and the new one came today. I'm telling you, it was it was in my carousel and I spun that thing eight times and didn't see it. <laughs> 